Your queen is on her way to the village from a far away kingdom. You need to go very fast to Akamaku before Kaya is crowned queen. Go and stop them from crowning Kaya. Your queen is on her way to Akamaku as I speak. Go! Go, Kosi! Akamaku was a very prosperous kingdom known for its strong traditions and rich culture. However, there was one tradition that stood above all others, which is the marriage of the prince. The prince is to marry a warrior, one with strength and courage, one with a kind heart. Whenever the prince was to be married, a trial festival was held where all interested women who feel they are strong enough would go into battle. There were several challenges to test their strength in other areas of their abilities. At the end, the five best would be chosen to go into the Akama forest to bring a golden flower which would stand as a token of their love for the prince. And the woman who would bring it was crowned the queen of Akamaku kingdom. This was one of Akamaku's most cherished traditions. It was an adventurous one for the women of Akamaku Kingdom, and they were all excited to embark on this adventurous journey. The day of the trial came, and the challenges were tough, but five gorgeous women stood out and were chosen to embark on the journey to Akama Forest to get the golden flower of love. These women were very beautiful and strong. Among these women was a beautiful and brave lady called Kaya. The other women were a bit tensed about her, but everyone had faith in themselves. They all had a never given up spirit, all prepared the journey began. It was a three days journey to go, and a three days journey back to Akamaku Kingdom. There were a lot of obstacles on the way. They fought both spirits and strange beings and wild animals. The rains fell on them, the winds blew, and the sun scorched so hard. It was indeed the journey for the brave only. Before they got to where the golden flower was, two of them died, and they were left with only three. The name of the remaining three were Kaya, Kosi, and Bati. So they continued their journey. When they got close to Akama Forest, they splitted and parted ways. No one saw each other for a whole day. And at the last night, they all got to the heart of the Akama forest where the golden flower was. The search became fierce as they were to return the next day in order to meet up with the three days they had to go back to Akamaku kingdom which was also part of the requirements. While in the heat of the search, Patsy saw a light shining in her direction. She walked closely. It was the golden flower sparkling. She immediately dropped her sword and started singing to it. Sare. Sare, sare, kobo, sare, 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 kobo, ye ka siye miye dawa, sare, kobo, epe biko, epe biko, epe biko, epe biko, ye ka siye miye dawa, sare, kobo meaning I came in love. I don't want to use you for evil, but for love, please let me take you. And as soon as she was done singing, the flower glowed even the more. So she bowed and took the flower. As soon as she picked up the flower, Kaya was there already. Kaya said to herself, I will never let her go with it. Never, I must be the queen. So Kaya hid herself so Bati won't see her. And as soon as she walked past, where Kaya was hiding, Kaya stabbed her from the back and took the flower. And Kosi, who had already gotten there too, saw her stabbing Bati. She was so scared of Kaya, so she ran away. Kaya pursued after her, but couldn't catch up with her, so she left her and returned home. Kosi kept running until she missed her way, but a strange man helped her and took her to his village. But she was too scared of Kaya to go back to her own village. He told her to take her time. He said, Don't worry. 
Whenever you're ready to go, I know a shortcut to your village and I will take you there myself. On the day of their arrival, the whole village gathered at the entrance of the village, waiting for the victor as their custom was. Kaya walked in all tired with a flower in her hands and in victory everybody shouted with joy and rejoiced for the culture that has been kept. They were all happy. They immediately took her to the royal palace, cleaned her up, gave her the royal meal that has been prepared for the victor and dressed her in a royal apparel. Kaya was already parading herself as the queen and everybody addressed her as the future queen of Akamaku kingdom. But the prince didn't like her. He couldn't explain what the matter was. But he wasn't pleased with her. He felt there was something wrong about her. But since it was a tradition, he was willing to go ahead with her. A night before the coronation, where Kaya was to be crowned the queen, Kosi had a visitation. A strange woman appeared to her in her dream and told her, Kosi, it's time to go back home. Your queen is on her way to the village from a far away kingdom. You need to go very fast to Akamaku before Kaya is crowned queen. Go and stop them from crowning Kaya. Your queen is on her way to Akamaku as I speak. Go! Go, Kosi! And she woke up. It was a dream. Immediately she prepared herself and the man took her to the village as he promised. While they were about to crown Kaya, the queen of Akamaku kingdom, Kosi entered and shouted, No! Kaya was shocked. She thought Kosi had died in the forest. So Kosi told them what had happened and how Kaya killed Bati and also tried to kill her but she escaped. Then she said, I had a visitation last night in my dream. I was told that the queen is alive and on her way to Akamaku as we speak. That means Bati is alive. Kaya tried to escape but she was caught by the guards and tied down. The prince said, now I see the reason my spirit didn't connect with hers. I knew there was something wrong with her, but I couldn't just place it. While they were still talking, Bati walked in and they were all surprised and shouted, so it is true, because she was so happy. Bati was crowned the queen, while Kaya was hanged to death, according to their tradition. Kosi and Bati became very close friends like sisters. Kosi got married to the strange man that saved her life. And the prince loved Bati. And they all lived happily ever after.